hello to our HD viewers. Um, with additional lighting today, hope you appreciate the improvement in picture quality. Um, today we're going to try and deal with the time rotor, which has a base and has a kit of parts. Now, I may end up having to just hold everything for a bit and paint something. I'm a bit mystified because I haven't got a decent photograph of the base. Because this bit, from what I can tell, isn't visible on the finished thing. So I theoretically could get away without painting it. So for now, I'm not going to paint it. Okay, I'm giving up on just a minute, which does at least mean that I can resume monitoring. So I am now monitoring again, or I can catch just a minute later. I can't even hear my own monitoring, I don't know, it's a bit odd. So, time rotor. We have Perspex, which is the outer of the time rotor. We have resin, I think it's called, moulded resin, which marks the base of the time rotor. We also have, and I painted it yesterday, which point I annoy everybody because I've not painted it silver, but I don't have any silver paint. The uh, clothes basket bit. Um, I turn to the correct page of the instructions, which is this. I will read out what is said. Oh, fruit basket, sorry. I apologise to Gary who wrote the instructions. Taking the fruit basket part Glue this centrally to the base of the rotor, making sure that the center hole that the center hole lines up with the central hole in the rotor base. See, this is what's confusing me. He's saying that this... Very carefully with this. Should be this colour. But so far I'm not sure on whether this will be overly visible. If I have to paint it later, I'll paint it later. But I did want to work on making some progress with assembling it. So... We have glue, we have 10 minutes for the glue to dry, so I've just about enough time to do this gluing before lunch. Unfortunately glue takes quite a long time to dry, but we might be able to get some further assembly done this afternoon. So. We'll have to hold everything up for HD viewers, but there you go. So some glue right in the middle there. And we have to repeat the operation with this. Uh, hello again, if that's you watching again, Alan. So we're gluing the... Uh, the fruit basket part of the console. As with all these gluing operations, this glue takes about 10 minutes to dry. So I will leave it. Learned at my cost yesterday that I can't play you music. 
You would not believe the number of copyright claims I had once that went onto YouTube. And a fine example of automated systems, it went onto YouTube and within seconds, minutes at the most, I had a lengthy email from those Google types saying, the following people have claimed copyright against your video. So I went right into the video and turned off all monetization so people can't um, get eggy with me. So this video is either going to be entirely silent or is going to be soundtracked by just a minute. Turned off all monetization so people can't... Um, so there's the delay on my monitoring. So this video is either going to be entirely silent and uh, or is there is my monitoring. By just a minute. There's me. Oh god, now it's going to loop around. So I'm going to turn off the monitoring, as we clearly have a decent angle. And then we'll find just a minute. And we might be able to hear some of it live. BBC don't seem so fussy about such things. So I've just a minute on last week's video. I didn't get a copyright Paul claim Nicole off the BBC. Graham Norton and they're all ahead of Rufus Hound. And Rufus, we're with you to begin. And the subject now is minutes. the Rat Pack. I'm sure you so know something about I can it, but tell us more in this, this game starting now. The Rat Pack was a phrase used to describe a group of performers who loved one another's company. Indeed, they performed as a band of brothers. Uh, they were tired of oh, you absolutely. <laughs> Oh, the poor man's crying here. Yeah. I know it's a different game, but Rufus, yes, darling boy, yes, Rufus, yes, you're giving a wonderful performance. Well, he's I wiping that was... his eyes with his microphone at the moment. <laughs> Uh, a bit of advice I give is that even the if you stumble, they keep going. Yeah. Might be generous. This I accept. Right. I, it's I it's more of an drill. existential pain that I feel at the moment. So I'm hoping. I think we're all feeling that. Yeah. Pain. <laughs> but Pam, you challenge first, right? You crossed I did. Right, I think it was hesitation. Yes, I think Rufus rather ran out of steam. I, he he I didn't run out of steam. I just ran out of ability. Don't play with knives, kids. No, your ability's got you on the show. But I don't know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. <laughs> 51 seconds, Pam, on the Rat Pack starting now. One morning, my Failing father this, was I riding his bicycle steadily towards Farringdon beside a stubble field. To his surprise, he heard a tremendous a rustling in the corn, and looking to his left, he saw an enormous pack of rats which stretched from one side of the pasture to the other. Oh, and the rats. Oh. Rufus challenge. Hesitation. Yes, yes we call that hesitation, Rufus. Well, listen, you've got your first point, and um, <laughs> I said that to get the audience on your side, Rufus. So have confidence now. Okay. I right. have no okay, idea ready. who's Today the revolution begins. Right. Yes. So, um, I do say begin now. Because you have played the game once before. Kindly post oh, just comments, the once. particularly if you call these out. To be honest, Nicholas, it was so long ago, I've sort of... It's been a relatively early hour. Give him a bonus point for that. You can't possibly be away. And there are still 30 seconds available, Rufus. The Rat Pack starting now. The Rat Pack were these men who had come together to give people... Poor challenge. Well... It kind of was hesitation. It was a definite hesitation. Yeah. Paul had a correct challenge. He gets a point for that. Let's but I'm going see. to be generous and say, you can keep the subject. 26 seconds still available. The Rat Pack starting now. They were show business titans who truly loved one another. The chairman of the board was Frank Sinatra. Old blue eyes. He seemed to be the leader of the piece. Whilst Dean Martin was the court jester, if you will. A man who was drunk the entire time. Leading... Oh... <laughs> new challenge. Uh, and there are nine seconds still available. The rat pack starting now. It is a well-known fact that rats migrate across large areas. Uh, Rufus challenge. Uh, repetition of rats. Yes, because oh. you talked about this colony of rats before, didn't she you? She did. Yes, well, oh. listen, Rufus. So well, you're not for the battle of the game after all, are you? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him, Rufus. Don't listen to him. Just play the game, you're okay, very good. Okay. Absolutely. And you've got him with four seconds to go. Okay. Okay. So keep going. Come on. Give your breath. 
Four seconds. The Rat Pack starting now. It also led to a change in the way that Americans viewed race because Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> so we just found with all kinds of uh, aggression there. Pulled himself up and he's only two points behind Pam Ayers and Graham Norton. And free behind Paul Not Merton, who's our leader. Song. Pam, it's your turn to begin. The subject is have a model free reserve. verse. We might have something about verse with you, my darling. 60 seconds, as usual, starting now. So, a man standing is uh, shouting at the top of his voice, buy my free verse, only £25 a ream, guaranteed to bring tears to your eyes, uh, could not bigger, be accused of actually offering one. free verse because free verse is the, a type of unstructured poetry. The a good songs. example would be the 23rd Psalm. The, the Lord is things, my shepherd, I, I shall things. not want. He maketh Small me ones. to lie down in green heart. Here, the straight jacket of just a minute causes me to pause. A good example of something. Oh, yes, well, yeah, listen, well, listen. Uh, yes, well, it was a good example. It was a good we example, yes. The holes again. And that big laugh that came in there was that we were all crossing ourselves as puns of the song. <laughs> uh, Graham, a correct challenge. 21 seconds available. Free verse starting now. Free verse is essentially stuff that doesn't rhyme, I believe. Is it not? Mm. Pam, Pam is nodding. I mean, oh, I've said Pam three times. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> repetition of Pam. <laughs> so <laughs> confess. Uh, <laughs> point I was thinking, is it odd we don't speak to each other during it? And then I said your name three times and I realized that's why we don't do that. <laughs> Paul, 15 seconds still available. Free verse starting now. When you wander through the worlds of poetry, there are many different forms, but free verse is something that particularly catches my eye. Perhaps the finest writer of free verse poetry that this country has ever known, maybe even the world, I would say is undoubtedly Sir Henry... <laughs> I think I'm going to have to try... Um... The king has a whistle when game that it's a point. He's increases all that's holy is there not to like about the time. toast. It is essentially an too. edible plate. Yes, indeed. When it is warm, one places butter on top of it and that melts in. But in many ways, butter is itself. Oh. Uh, Paul, you challenge first. Yes, repetition of butter. Yes, repetition of butter. Great deal of and, surface uh, and you've got a point. Yeah, you have uh, 23 seconds. Attack. Toast is a subject starting now. Toast, of course, can be brown bread, white, granary, seeded, marmite, with our other products available is a one of those things that if you spread on top of the surface well, of the bread, it is uh, uh, challenge. A repetition of bread. Yes, yes. it is not the subject is toast. Well, listen. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and Rufus, you've got him with her 11 seconds to go. Toast starting now. One should see toast as a plateau on which other treats are placed. Sweet things, jams, marmalade, fruits of every description when crushed into the top. <laughs> well, Rufus, you've certainly got this audience on your side. Mm. And you have leapt forward. You are now only one point back. Which is mainly called such a thing, called uh, a cord. Paul challenge. A repetition of cord. Yes. Cord, yes. Well, well done. You went for 20 seconds. Paul, you have a correct challenge. You have the subject. 40 seconds to go. Glastonbury starting now. A lot of my friends' performers go to Glastonbury every year, and I've been tempted once or twice. Inevitably, it's turned out to be an occasion where the rains have opened up four or five days before the event, and everything becomes extremely muddy. I saw one party goer getting around by being pulled along in a rowing boat. Such was the condition of the ground that it was moist enough to sustain such a vessel. But of course, the audiences at Glastonbury are always great fun. How they amused to call you Chippa Chippa. Its Icelandic connections are well preserved. <laughs> Rufus, you challenge first. That was a deviation from language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah. Because it was a language you didn't understand. <laughs> Rufus, a correct challenge, yeah, a point to you. And you're now equal with uh, Graham Norton and only one point behind our joint leaders. And you have text style. We oh. thank our producer, Victoria Lloyd. We're indebted to Ian Messiter, who created this amazing game. And we are grateful to this lovely oh, audience oh. who've cheered us on our way magnificently. So from the audience and from Ian Nicholas Parsons and the team, thank you. Tune in again the same time when we play Just a Minute! have to cut off before the minute walks comes in in case the YouTube
copyright police get at me again. So, this is about all I have to hand for breaking open these holes. I'm sure there's an incredibly good reason why they weren't drilled properly as part of the kit. But, um, as the person building it, I'm not privy to that. It's so frustrating because one of them's free and one of them isn't. So I can get it on on one side. Ah, it's starting to go in. I'm not sure if I have to just assemble this or if I'm meant to be gluing it because it doesn't seem to have much strength to it. So there we have something that's starting to look like a time rotor. There are two I'm going to have to read the, um, so there is a, a larger cage that goes around that. We have a bunch of very thin rods and we have this. be able to see me doing this because I have to do it at desk level. We're going to take the bunch of very thin rods and insert them. i just get that pin out of the way now it's done its job. I worry about losing the smallest bits. Mum, mum always used to say and it's full of little bits you can lose and at times never a truer word was said which is uh, why we were not treated to certain toys as children because mum would take one look at them and that would be her thought it's full of lots of tiny bits you can lose so I'm not quite sure if we ever owned for example a Connect 4 or certain board games. There must be another one of these. Oh, there is. Given the more than a week this took to arrive, I hope all the bits are here. You don't really discover one way or the other until you start. Let's do a little ta-da moment. Ta-da! Until you start assembling them all. So yeah, I have formed this cage. This cage goes over there. And then we've got to insert the other thing. If I show to both cameras, we have to insert the other thing we've been building within that cage. So this is where things get fiddly again because we have a bunch of holes there. Hopefully this glue I've been doing has dried. Not that we oh Oh great, I've had two fall out. Now where's that gone? Well, after much fiddling around, the time rotor now looks like that. Only the middle bit there is glued, which I'm a little... Oh, one of them's come out already. Hang on. 
so again after very very carefully putting them in and I'll hold it up close to the HD camera so they can see all the details that is a little bit wonky but that is all assembled Facebook can't see there are holes there and the HD camera will just about focus on those I'll show it to you guys as well but I'm not sure how well it will come out so I attach one of these oh I see that's why there's so many holes in this ring you have to go Oh, I really do not have surgeon's hands. I have to go in there. At this point, if Gary was watching, I'd be complaining because your holes are not big enough. There's a bloody knobble on that. That's no help. That one's been cleaner cut. Incredibly fiddly thing to do. So we've got that there. We've got two tiny little holes there and then so that's sort of in. So we have to now repeat that exercise, but I've got to attack this one with a craft knife. I will show you my problem. I'll show it first to the HD camera, which will focus in on the fact that there's a knobble there. And as you can see, there's a sort of knobble there. I'm not sure whether the smaller camera is focusing. So, just as well, I bought this. Didn't even buy this for this project. I bought this for a project that I keep putting off and that's that there's some repair work needs to be done on my quadcopter. That's quadcopter. Not drone. Don't like the word drone. It makes them sound automated. They most definitely are not. I had a leg break on the quadcopter. I have the spare part, unfortunately it basically means a dismantlement of its um, foam fuselage so that if the HD camera will focus and it will it's cleaner and we have another incredibly delicate job to do I'm not sure if he's going long way in or short way in. It must be long way. Incredibly, incredibly fiddly. So, if any of you meet David J. Howe in the next few months, he may be around. He bought one of these too. He got his assembled last year. Compliment him on his surgeon's hands. Well, unless, of course, he had help. <clears throat> I am doing this entirely solo.
it's one thing getting them in, it's another thing getting them straight. Part of me wants to take this thing to Hooverville to show it off, but even if it's finished by then, it probably will be. It feels incredibly delicate. So I might have to grant some of you visiting rights. Not sure who person four is watching, so please post comments because uh, Facebook uh, only tells me on the camera that's filming, and the camera that's filming has its screen back to me. That sort of passes master, but given how incredibly fiddly it is, it may have to. So we've done that, that's figure eight. We haven't even got to the really fiddly bit yet. The bit I don't even know if I have the manual dexterity for. Uh, so, 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 uh, so, 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 raised parts, cage bears, pop blah, blah, blah. Figures seven and eight, done that. Now, now we come to the bit that I've been worrying about. The bit that I saw in the instructions not long after the kit arrived. Actually there's a couple of things I've been worrying about. This is just the furthest up the list that I have to deal with. Inside this bag we have a thin piece of black card. Now, figure nine of the instructions I'm going to turn off the HD camera for a bit. So for HD viewers we are zigzagging and I hope I'm doing this right. This fiddly black piece paper. See, I'm spiralling it. I'm not remotely sure. Uh, the one person that's watching, the one person that's watching, can you please post a comment to identify yourself because Facebook doesn't tell me who you are. See, I'm sort of spiralling it because I can't get through my head what he means by zigzag it. is now asking me to be ridiculously manually dexterous again so we have an incredibly fiddly task with a piece of paper that someone has told me to fold in a way that makes it quite stiff and uncooperative. And they did say to Tim, why does your console middle look so odd? And I did say back, because my finger dexterity is not up to making a piece of paper zigzag. I cannot do it. I'm sorry, but I can't zigzag paper.
Now I can't even get it out again. I'm going to have to lift this up so I can see if the person identified themselves. Oh, it's you, Phil. Hello, Phil. Um, I'm about to commit sacrilege. I'm going to abandon this piece of paper because I cannot work out how to zigzag it. So we have reached. So now I'm avoiding all of that zigzaggy crap because I just cannot do it. Now we get to the hatched panels. Which he's pictured as if they're circular, which worries me for a start. Place these in boiling hot water to soften them. I'll be back. Looks like we're going to have to end the live stream. Okay, we've had to decamp to the kitchen where as per the instructions, and I'm trying to get this camera a bit straighter, we have boiling hot water to place this part in. As per the instructions also, I don't want to get my hands covered in boiling hot water. So I've now got bowl two to put the wet thing in. So that's one. Bowl two is sunk. I can get some of the boiling hot water from one so it is touchable. Well, presumably, this is what we have to do next. God, that was boiling hot. Getting lost as to where that's meant to bend between. Update. So we spent a few minutes fiddling around with hot water and then I didn't film the bit after that because it would have been even duller than the rest of this video and that was basically me having to hold plastic bent onto the glue and so we're now having, this is incredibly delicate, we now have that. And you get the benefits of the HD camera because it will pick up all the detail on it. So we now have that. And we'll get back to the instructions. So having consulted the instructions, these are the next things to be inserted. It's very hard to do this and show you. So I'll have it as close to the camera as possible and let it focus on it. 
they go in and again they've not been cut straight we've done some craft knifing on these things and hopefully I'll hold this as close to the camera as possible so you can actually see that one Aha! See what I mean? Incredibly, incredibly fiddly. The hole isn't... Why has he put a hole that isn't a proper hole? You, you, it, it's the most frustrating thing with this kit is it's full of stuff that needs me to finish it off. We've come to the point where this is inevitable because those, I can't even see them, but isn't it? there they are, those will not insert without the aid of glue. We've got to a point where stuff is incredibly delicate. Uh, those are not even proper holes. They are little futs, putts, I don't even know what to call them. So I have put glue in both of them and I've stuck these bits either side and I'm literally having to hold it now for about 10 minutes. A uh, little update to end this video as I'm just about to finish. I might try a bit more assembly but it has been incredibly fiddly past few minutes. I've now got those two on I cannot remotely get them to bend round as much as they're meant to. I've also got these two on, which aren't stickers. So they've taken some incredibly fiddly cutting with a craft knife and inserting by hand. So that's that. So I've now put glue on that. And on the very bottom of this, and we've now got to wait about 10 minutes before the glue dries. I've had to go handheld with the camera for this because it's incredibly delicate what I've just been doing. And if I moved it, it would be the devil's own job to keep it even remotely where it should be. So I'll turn this round there is the partially completed time rotor and I'm gonna put the camera down again now now if you've not built one of these yourself you would not remotely understand how incredibly fiddly an operation it has been to even get it to that and by the way that isn't even straight and I don't really have a way of making it straight uh, now there's about two more bits of gluing to do and then I'm genuinely going to give myself a break because it's been a very stressful afternoon and we will resume this uh, on Wednesday when I next have enough time to work on it. We've now moved on to the outer of the time rotor and I'm in the process of gluing its top to it so I've got to leave that for at least another five minutes and then have at it with the craft knife to cut the excess off now I've had to change camera position so you can actually see what I'm doing this will form the roof of this hello to Mr. Craft Knife I'll have to cut off the excess. Is that? Uh, that's a text, and to protect the privacy of the texter, you'll never know who it was from. See? 
these are approximate score lines. Change of angle so you can see what I'm doing. I say see what I'm doing. So there you are. These are roughly scored. I'll do a second cut in a minute. Even Gary who designed this kit admits this bit is very hard because he's supplied two of these bits of plastic to cut into. Shape. Oh, I had a horrible feeling that I over ripped, but I haven't. So I'm going to carefully take that off. So that's now an approximate lid. And we need to cut it again. Which point I try and persuade this tripod to play ball. Yes. I say hello to Mr. Craft Knife again. And some very heavy pressure. Cutting where I hope I'm not simply cutting the glue. You need, I would argue, a particular form of temperament. To do this build at all. What I'm about to do is either going wonderful or will go disastrously wrong. But I have scored those incredibly hardly and they've not... We're getting somewhere. It is an incredibly Fiddly operation. And as I expected, some of the joins are indeed going. getting there. That is not bad. There's still a I think that's actually a crack in the plastic rather than a, an overrun, but as you can see if the camera would focus on it. That's pretty much all cut off. And now another moment of truth. This has had glue sitting on it for several minutes. So let us have a ta-da moment, shall we? And that is very fragile but is pretty much complete. 